believe it. Sean Rodriguez oh. is second at bat as a pirate. He arrived in the clubhouse today. Coming to you from Seattle tonight, where the roof at Safeco Field has been closed for comfort. Continue. James Paxton, a left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, one of the strengths of this exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps. Line the line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again. In now the power hitting outfielder no has to decide if he's going to change his game plan. Is he going to stay staunch and wait for him to miss over the hardware plate or inside or is he going to adjust his sights and try and drive the ball the other way. On to first and there are two down. Into the box. Jose Abreu. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Paul Hamill. The southpaw out of the Golden State gets the call here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job. He's coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. And he is going to have extra bases here to start the home first. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. As we take another look here, you can see it's a two-seam fastball. Really here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. On the move is to Shields. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Hit hard to third. Beltra is there. Throws short hops him at first, and now two men are aboard. Jed Lowry now, previously against Cole. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Abreu is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. Here's Nelson Cruz now, first pitch of the at-bat. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. So a base hit here to start the inning, and he continues to pile them up as we take a look at our lead leaders in. But I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Fly ball right down the line and left. Gamble moves over. And he hauls it down in the corner. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre, the head. to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now standing in Isaiah Heiner here comes the first pitch this is line to left and that's in there base hit that was actually a well executed here's Rognit Odor now he swings and sends a bullet to right field a dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And a relay to the plate. And he's in there safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. And here's the second. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking. Strike three. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He was one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit back toward the mound. There is Andrus. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Digging in now, Mike Sonino. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia. Hamels is ready. Here comes the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. 
He takes the turn and heads for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. Too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. And nothing will cover the two-out double. Here's Elvis Andrus now. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So striding now, here's the pitch. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Ready now, 1-1. One, one. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So digging in now. You see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. And that's out number one. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. First delivery to him on the way. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Stepping in now. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. And Beltre will make the catch to retire the side. Digging in. Nelson. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. He'll try it again, three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. A bouncer up the middle. Backhanded. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I... Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Now about it. Yeah. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And at the plate, Robinson. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Beltre over to his left. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center. And he's got himself a one-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Game for the Mariners to this point. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. The Shields is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now at the plate, Mike Sanino. Hit out towards second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now. As it comes in. Liner towards second, but there is the second baseman Cano for the first down. Ready for another shot now. Out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw the Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in to third now. So they're at the corners here with only one out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, Devo, to make sure that gets through. And it the 1-1. One, one. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Heredia. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. 
And the throw in gets away from him. And now the runner will score from third on the Aaron's throw. The batter. So here's green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Henderson off. The one two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that one is gone on a two-strike count. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. The third baseman, Adrian Belfry. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have a hit in two at bats for him at the 1-1. The hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Stepping in, Rubnet Odor. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. High and deep to straightaway right. Henniger going back on it. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two. So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field. For a cold strike one. He's hitless yeah, for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Heredia is there to make the catch. That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia now. Here's old. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gallo moves over. One out. Next for Seattle. They make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. So he got him swinging. Mike Marjuma becomes. Hamels is ready. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Andrews into shallow center. He's got it. A great run. Here's Elvis Andrews now. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. In now the power hitting out. Now a check swing here, and no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even an appeal. It's ball four. Tempting it. At least he held up. He must have been guessing. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Now the plate now is the dead. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to short. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Chalk up another multi-hit game. Joey Gallo now. AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Grounded softly to the right. Fielded cleanly. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the... And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. And at this point, a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Popped him up. Heiner has a play. One down. Stepping in now. Grounded back up the middle. Throw on to first, and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. Here's Bobby Cano now. He's Cano waiting on the 0-1. Now oh, he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Abreu will range over to make the catch just... Now to the plate, Adrian Bell, the 1-1. Popped up. Marjima is there. One out. Digging in once again. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. The tag and he's nabbed trying for two. Here's Rognit Odor. Swing and a liner. 
a leap here but it ticks off his glove he'll get it into second the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the in now the Mariners DH promising so far this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one and Beltre throws on to first for the out percent of his first pitches have been for strikes and when you're doing that you really put the hitters on the defensive throw on to first will get him scored at 5-3 on the put out though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball nevertheless they go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late and the throw to first is there the inning is over at the plate the line of Shin Su Chu is going to be asked to get down the 2-1 pitch mine to the right side but there is the second baseman Cano for the first down. Here's Jurickson Profar. We'll move into the on deck. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Heredia racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. The tag and he's called out trying to stretch two bases into three. In now the power hitting outfielder. High pop up. Marjima will wait on it. And he will put it away to retire the side. Shin Su Chu will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Jurickson Profar will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. They're on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business. Hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early. Ronald Guzman is into the game. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Standing in. The 2 2 one more time. Hit in the air to shallow center. Chu coming on. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Stepping into the box. Looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of Ray. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left. Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Heredia. And that's the first out of the inning. How about it? There's Nelson Cruz now. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the second out. How about it? Here's Joey Gallo now. Getting a little short on gas, so. Wouldn't he go up there and make him throw? Oh, and now, meanwhile, this ball is cranked out to straightaway center field, and this one is going to leave the yard. It's a home run. Big Joey Gallo leaves the yard with a solo shot. His second home run of the game as the blowout continues. Jose Trevino. The long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny D, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that... And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. He's going to... He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Tapped up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping in... Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He's there. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Here's Jed Lowry now. And this guy. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. One. He's hitless in three at bat. A little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
11 to 2 is the way this ball game ends. The Texas Rangers slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Paul Hamels gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. JD Martinez! Inside the show with Justin Allegri. And a happy 4th of July to all of you out there today. Here's what took place around the majors yesterday. Starting in the AL West, the Seattle Mariners knocked out 10 hits as a team as they were winners over the visiting Rangers 6-5. The Halos combined to allow only four hits as they got the 